much fun that is. But understand that any coach that you talk to as you move up in levels, bunting becomes and is a very important part of the game. Um, what we define it as as coaches is it's the, one of the most important pieces to team baseball. We all want to be on a team. We all want to be on a team that's successful. We want to be a part of a team. And, and bunting is a, one example of how your offense becomes a team game. What are we doing when we're sacrificing bunting? What are we trying to accomplish? Who are we moving? Who are we moving? Runner at where? What base? Pick one. Second, so you want to move him from second to third? All right, we're going to move him from second to third. If we're trying to move him up 90 feet uh, to get into third base, maybe with less than two outs so he could score on a sacrifice fly. But any way you do it, your job at the plate, the reason why I call it sacrifice fun is you're giving yourself up. As the hitter, you're willing to be okay with making an out in order to move your runner up that 90 feet. Okay? It doesn't mean we'll always be out. Yep, the defense still has to make their play. But we're sacrificed. That's why they call it that. Sacrificing ourselves for the betterment of our team. Okay? Uh, playing small ball is, again, like Coach was saying, going to BB Core, you guys are going to live that as you transition from middle school age up into high school. And trust me when I tell you, it is definitely going to continue to change the game, especially at the ninth and 10th grade level, and, and what we have, what you guys will have to do in order to produce runs. Um, and it's definitely it's what they wanted. They wanted you guys to swing bats that were more like wood, and now you are. All right? And that's what you will be doing as you move up. Okay? So let's get into the mechanics of it, into the bunny. First thing, coach talk to you guys when you're hitting about being athletic in your stance, right? We have an athletic stance. Give me some nods. Everybody, yeah, Coach, Coach Todd and the rest of the coaches talk about that. No different for what we do. We got to get into our athletic stance and, and, and as we're waiting for the pitch. Now, prior to that, we would have gotten a sign from our coach that tells us sacrifice bunt. First adjustment that we make is we move up in the box. Okay? Number one thing on the checklist, move up in the box. I'm still taking my athletic stance. I'm still presenting myself as a hitter, but I've moved up in the box. By moving up in the box, that allows me more of my bunts that go down to the ground to fall in fair territory. If I stay back in the box and I bunt the ball and it goes straight down, we now are going to hit the plate, back side of the plate edges, working more foul territory. We want to be up in the box to present more fair territory for our potential bunts. Okay, so that's number one, up in the box. Now. You're always going to have a couple things you remember in any clinic that you take with you. This one I want you to take with you. We quarter turn to the, to the plate. Okay? As we present ourselves, as we go from our stance to presenting, and I'll get to the rest of it, but as we get to the rest or get to presenting ourselves to bunt the baseball, we quarter turn. Okay? Quarter turn. Look at my toes, shoelaces, my, my, my front of my body, all facing contact point. I'm facing this ball. Does anybody remember doing this when you guys were growing up? This one? Or this one? Two feet turn and doing this? Okay. We see that a lot with the younger kids as you guys get older that we have to break that habit of turning and presenting the back here. Okay. Turning all the way back. I said quarter turn. This would be a full turn. So if I full turn and I present the bat like this and I wait for it, I'm going, to, I'm going to put my bat down. What kind of plate coverage do I have? Good one? No plate coverage. So now my job becomes that when that pitcher throws the ball, he's throwing the ball to the plate. i got to try and get back here where I can't even see it and bump the ball. So we're going to quarter turn out of our stance, simply quarter turn everything facing that baseball, which is where my contact point is. Now... When I put my hands out in front of the plate, put the bat down, there's my plate cover. Okay? All right? Very important part. If you start here and do this, this is where the pitcher's trying to throw it, back here. How are we going to get back there? My eyes are already out there. My bat's already out there. But yet, that's where i got to bunt the ball. We want a quarter turn and take it right to contact point. My eyes, my body, everything facing that contact point. Okay, very important. So we talked about the bottom half. We're simply pivoting or quarter turning. We'll start with the ground up. We have flexion, staying athletic in our legs. So we've not covered up to the hips. Now what are we doing with our back? 
Everybody should be able to do this. All right? You ever play Thumb Wars when you were younger? Maybe still do? Everybody should be able to do this. Go ahead and grab your bat. Grab your bat. Coach will check on this, all right? Very important right here. Get a good grip on that bat with your thumb. You should be able to hold on to that just like this. No wrapping fingers. Make a fist on the bottom. Fist on the bottom. Just like this. Thumb wars. All right, now just take the bat and put it in there. Good. Good. Okay? As you get older, it's a pretty common uh, uh, drill right now or for older guys. We actually have our guys butt balls just like this. They don't even use this hand. They simply butt baseballs like this with their top hand just to make sure that they're accurate because this is the hand that is your accuracy hand. This takes the barrel of the ball or the barrel of the bat to the baseball. Okay. So we present the bat, slide the hand up, top hand goes to our thumb wars right in there, bottom hand. We like to slide the hand anywhere from middle of the leather to the top of the leather. Nothing above the leather, okay? Middle to top, anywhere in there is where you want to slide your bottom hand to have, make sure that you got a good grip and good look at, that, at, at, uh, at the, uh, the bat to the baseball. See my arms? No locked out arms, okay? We don't turn and lock the arms out. Coaches tell you guys, just bunt it. Hey, bunt it out in front. Bunt it out in front. They're being truthful. But, bunting it out in front isn't doing this. We've already moved up in the box. This is still out in front, and you can see the relaxed flexion that I have in my arms. Very important. To be athletic, we can't be stiff. We have to be able to have some flexion and, and ability to move. Last thing. Set your barrel at the top of the zone. All right, set your barrel at the top of the zone. Top of the strike zone is where the barrel goes. From there, everything is in your legs to drop down. If it's above your barrel, up in your eyes, you take it as a ball. Don't set your barrel at the bottom of the zone and try and work up. Set your barrel at the top, and then we work down with our legs, okay? Barrel above the baseball is what we call that. Barrel above the baseball, and then we work down. Good flexion in. Barrel above, I want to, obviously we want bunts to go which direction, guys? Down. Down, right? If we're working down here at the bottom, trying to work up, we're going to get lots of pop-ups, foul balls. All right? We set it at the top, the pitch is down, we simply go down wherever coach takes that, and we're working from the top down, top down. Okay? Any questions? No questions? All right. Quarter turn. Athletic. Quarter turn. Out in front. Barrel at the top. Eyes ready to go to contact out in front of the plate. Okay? Top down. No questions. Where do we want to go with the ball? Where do we want to bunt the ball, guys? Go ahead. Down the line. Give me one of the lines. Why? Because we don't want the pitcher to, to get it, right? Pitcher makes the play. It's an easy play for him. We want to make these guys work. Our sacrifice putt can turn into a base hit if we're good getting the balls down the line and we're hustling and, and, and running them out. we got a chance to get a hit. All right? Turning a sacrifice into a hit. So creating your angle is how you do that. doesn't change anything else. We still set it at the top. We still quarter turn, we still slide our hands, everything, thumb wars, all, everything's the same. I'm just going to create an angle. What is this angle going to do? Go to third. What's this angle going to do? Which hand is working to make that happen? This one, right? Just working, right there, right there. That's it. Still working, top down, nothing changing. I set my angle going to first, boom, work down to the bottom. Set my angle a third, throws me a little low, work down to the bottom, okay? But this guy just takes, it's like almost an udder on a rowboat, you know, just, just like this, all right? Any the questions? Biggest problem we see, Coach, get your stance. The biggest problem we see there is a sacrifice bunt. We don't care who in the ballpark knows, everybody should know, you're going to bunt the ball. It's a bunt situation. You're going to run it first, we need to move them over to second. 
All right, so the biggest problem I see with youth players right now is they don't want to get out here and get set right away. They don't get set soon enough. We're always hollering at them. Get out there, get set. Sacrifice bunt. All right, so as they're in a stretch, all right, they take their sign, boom. As they come, to, you're, you're, ready, you're ready to go. So as they're coming up, getting set, you're ready to go. Get it out there. And get yourself set on where you're going to bunt that ball. All right, down the third baseline or down the first baseline. Get it out there, okay? Get it out there, ready to go right away. We don't care if anybody knows. You get the ball down in a good spot, we're going to move that runner across. Over to second. Give him in a scoring position. Sacrifice it for your team, okay? Be early, guys. Don't be late. That's what, that's what Coach Todd's getting at. Be early. So when you get turned, like he said, he comes to the set, he starts the leg lift, or whatever, you're gone. You're going out, and you're saying, I'm sacrificing myself. I'm out early. I'm making sure I get this job done. That's our team mentality, team offense. Okay? All right.